I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. This afternoon I'm with Abandaman. Hey guys, how are you? How are you doing? Very good, thank you. And Abandaman will be performing at the Underbelly at 8.45 every night. And last year you guys were at Adelaide French Festival. Yes. And you had a video performing with Ed Sheeran as well. Yeah. And this year back at the bridge. Ross, you're teasing us. Leaving a pause. Leaving a pause. There will be, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are questions, these are statements. These are statements. We're just nodding. But more importantly, how's, um, this is one for you, Robert. Yeah. How's the gathering going? Has the gathering, the Irish be gathering, back. the gathering is, uh, is is wonderful. It is the, the <laughs> Irish government this year has gone this gathering. Come on home, come on, come home. Uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've never might... heard. This is the first time I've heard. <laughs> of you heard of it? What are they doing? Are they picking people out? Massive tourists start yeah. to get everyone to come to Ireland. After, really? after the famine, a lot of us left yeah. in the uh, 1800s. Yeah, that was quite a long and time. And now they're going. <laughs> we've got food. No, they're not. They're going. They're going. It's time to go home. I don't know. It is a massive publicity. Are they going to take you wrong? That's the big question. The only thing I'd be home for is a wedding. So okay. Well, unless, that's a start. Unless the gathering contacted my cousin. I was like, look, this is Ranger your year. year. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, you've been back to the gathering. You're from my yeah. two slightly. I'm from Lindell, but you are. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, worried for you all. It sounds like you've been picked out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, go the government is suddenly gathering troops back to Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Guys, nice. it's called gathering. Keep strong. Let's take over the world. See. Anyway, so tell yeah. us about your show this year. Back to Montpellier. Uh, this show, the show is uh, it is called the Moon Rock Moonbox. Mm. It's uh, about a journey to the moon, set in the future, mm. uh, at the Moon Wars, and ultimately everyone in the crowd is kind of part of this lunar war. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a freestyle hip hop show set on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we use we use people in the audience to kind of demonstrate the the story of the the, the moon war. Yeah, it's fun, is it? Yeah, it's yeah. crack. And it must be interesting for you guys because the topics must change because there's a lot of audience yeah. interaction. Every night, it's, it's the people in the crowd who decide where the story goes. So some nights you get someone who's just lucid. Some nights you get. We got one night where like a very drunk man just wants to come on stage and Irish dance with me. Yeah. <laughs> he was there from the start, so we wandered out and he was kind of loitering on the stage, but then he went to sit back down again and then later on he decided just to walk up, yeah. speak to Rob as if there's no one else in. There's 400 people in the. Uh, well, there wasn't, I think there's 200 people. <laughs> in the show, but there's, uh, but yeah, so he decided to walk up in front of all those people and say hello. Yeah, he just, he just had a chat. It was like a bit of a slog. And then when I tried to put him back in the seat, he just went, "Watch this!" and just did the tiniest of Irish dance. It was very good. <laughs> and then we ended up keeping him on stage for a while until we realised he was too drunk to, to be, uh, to be anywhere. So did, did you use, we using him as part of your trip? I mean, we didn't want to. No, we were keeping him on the side. We were trying to keep him at bay, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> eventually he became part of the show. And that's kind of a nice thing, so we quite like this. Yeah. The audience, and they do, it's really fun. We kind of encourage them to throw a curveball. We encourage them to be silly, to not give us something obvious. Mm. We're like, what's your dream? Like, don't go to be an astronaut. Don't say, no. try and keep it lucid, like a, like a megalomaniac care bear. That's what we got one night. That's but beautiful. Does it ever stunt you? Have you ever got through half a half through a rap or rhyme and you've been like, fail? <laughs> um, no, no. I mean, I don't do the rap. Yeah. <laughs> but viewing what Rob does, I, no, I haven't seen that happen. The only times that we do get in trouble is when, uh, is occasionally we get a comment that's so. Out there. No, no, quite the opposite. Just okay. so has nothing in it that I forget okay. what I've been told. So when I try and recall what I've actually chatted to the guy yeah. about, I find I've got a mental blank. And at that moment I go, it might be like, say the dream yeah. thing. I'll be like, hey, let me tell you my dream. And then I'll turn to James yeah. to fill in the blank. And I'll go, I just think jump it's the I think it's something to do with being a builder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they're, they're the Always. times. And how do you guys work? Do you guys have a set formula for every, every piece? So if you're picking a name, you'll plug that into a set formula, or is it just uh, winging it? No, we just kind of, it tends to be winging it. We'll ask questions, but we do just go, like, just give us random stuff, and one night, 
something very interesting that happened about, say, somebody's, let's say, foible, uh, yeah. something they didn't like about an ex, like something that like, they ejaculated in bed. Something like that would be the most interesting thing you hear, so that would yeah. take you one direction. Another night, you know, last night we met a couple of better freshers week, and they were in their 50s, so that became yeah, yeah, like yeah. a really nice, sweet thing of this couple who were, <laughs> you know, who were always kept calling back to their freshers week. It just depends on the audience. And do people any, ever ask for recordings when you just done? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. We're not great at doing it though. Nah, it's very, it's very <laughs> really not. <laughs> it's probably a good thing though, because it keeps everything you need fresh. And, and yeah, there's something interesting that is beautiful with improv mm. that like you do just start again the next night. Even if you've got the best recording, you yeah. can't go, cool man, let's do that thing about, uh, you know, yeah. about the girl who works in the pharmacy. The next night is the next night. So there is something nice. I'm just going to let it go. Yeah. No, you. Mm. And we're also quite lazy. Technically, yeah. technically I mean, we are not. That's uh, what it is. I think it's, yeah. yeah, that's why we didn't learn any lyrics in the first place. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, yeah. made it all up. <laughs> it's had an awesome outcome. Say again? It's had an awesome outcome. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. But there is a truth in that. The first ever Band of show was a written show, but the lyrics haven't been learned. <laughs> that's how it genuinely became just went for it. Yeah, yeah. It's just sheer terror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, would we be able to ask you guys to have a bit of a jam? Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, yeah. Well, we, you, would, if we did put you under a tiny bit of pressure, I'd brick it, but I'd give it a yeah, go. Would you sing the first line? You bring us in with a little hop. Yeah. <laughs> Is that alright? Add a thing you like. I'm with these guys, they're called Abandoned Man. <laughs> that's that's, that's good. good. Yeah, we're with these guys, we're called Abandoned Man. Okay. Now we're gonna jam. Okay, first of all, you know that we go in full throttle. I'll kick it with Ross when we rock it on the waffle. waffle. Yeah, that's right. Hey, my friends, we're at 8.45, but he's better. 8 p.m. <laughs> you know, I'm the tip top. We try to keep it beautiful. Ross, tell the people what's the name of your musical. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Yeah, that's right. Don't start a clamor, man. I'm a Snoopy. Charlie, Charlie Brown. Brown. Yeah, that's right, man. Any word that you give us, we're gonna try to do this quick. Make a vicious any word that you got. Yeah, man, we blow words off the tip top. Make noise for Schroeder. Schroeder. Yeah, that's right, man, I'll come now. I think Schroeder's my favorite word with an umlaut. Next word that we take it from you. Snoopy? Yep, that's right, we plug a few of these in. You know, man, truly like Pop 93, I discovered hip-hop for Snoop Dogg. Oh. Yeah, that's right, man, I thought <laughs> what he got was wild. My parents were annoyed, I got the doggy style. CD, man, you know I would drop this off the tip top. You know I was locked with my man as he was just rapping breeze. Then Snoop Dogg dropped the middle doggy. Next one that we grabbing? St. Augustine. Yeah, we Augustine. bust this, you know, respect for safe like Augustus. That's right, the rhymes are invincible. Let's do a freestyle, keep this ish biblical. Yeah, man, you know, man, adore this. Right now we're in the middle of August. Yep, you know that we rhyme and stun. St. Augustus, respect, cause this is your mom. August is a month. You're a good man, Charlie Brown, at Georgia 4th Street. <laughs> George, it's go. like a big plug. <laughs> big yep, that's right, man. We bust the flow. So I'm like, Ross, I feel that I'm trying to plug your show. So I say it, man. Yep, yep, man. We twerk it. His show opens on the 13th. But I said it, man. We take a bow. Stand up, my friend, because we are performing at the cow. That's right. You know that I'm a fan of that. I'm going to plug my show. Turn Mr. Camera. Yeah, that's right, man. You know I must tell thee. We perform there at, at the, the underbelly. Belly. That's right. You know, man. It truly is vibe. You can see both our shows in the freaking same night, yeah, yeah, that's right, go full throttle, afterwards go out there, get yourself a waffle, it's how we do this, make some noise on the boss, respect to the man, Mr. Ross. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Sorry, I was meant to bike you, do it again. <laughs> Thank you, interviewing me now. Absolute pleasure, guys, this is the band of man performing at Underbelly, and this is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV.